Hey Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Today's verse is in Galatians 6, verse 6, and here's what it says. Nevertheless, the one who receives instruction in the word should share all good things with their instructor. I love these very practical and straightforward verses. There isn't a lot to dive into here. Paul is literally commanding those who have been given any instruction or teachings to care for those who do it. The Christian church today has many teachers. To be honest, this isn't a glamorous job, but to be set apart for the Word of God means that our priority as a teacher is not for glamour or ac accumulation of stuff, is not to seek out the highest paycheck or the best talk options, but a teacher's priority is just that, for the teaching, instructing, and rebuking of those who God has put in front of us. Paul, being a teacher himself, knows of the struggle it is to be set aside for this. It's not always easy. So Paul, not in a selfish way, but in a realistic way, commands the listener to care for those who teach and instruct them. And this verse, although small, should cause us to stop and think. Who are all the people in my life who have helped to instruct me in the way of the Lord? Who has taught me to live a better life? Who has led me down a path of righteousness? Who has invested their time and joy into you? Who in your life sees something in you that you don't see in yourself? And here's the deal. Every one of us has teachers, coaches, and sponsors who have gotten us to where we are today. So how can you show your appreciation and support for them? I have three ideas for you to thank the often thankless job of teaching and instructing. Number one, I can tell you that someone showing me appreciation with words of affirmation can mean the world. Hey teacher, I appreciate what you do. Hey teacher, I really got a lot from this or that. Or even, hey teacher, I understand God's word better because of you. I just want to say that if you told me that, my heart would melt. Words of affirmation is not about giving compliments for compliments sake. Affirm your teachers in their calling. Let them know that God setting them apart to invest in your life and teaching you was not a mistake. Sometimes teachers are so wrapped up in affirming and teaching everyone else, it's easy to think they don't need it themselves, but they do. So encourage them and affirm them in their calling. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. The second thing is this. Help your teachers have fun. And here's what I mean. I hate to say it, but teachers don't always know how to have fun outside of their job. It's not always the case, but it's definitely true for some. They just don't give themselves the time to have fun, to play games, to adventure. How many of you have a boat? How many of you have a side-by-side? -side? How many of you have a regular game night? Take those who invest in you and help them have fun with the things that you have. Don't let your teachers be boring, because if they're boring, they might leave. The last thing is this. Make sure your teachers are investing in their own families. Do they have time, the brain space, to invest in their families like they are investing in you? I can tell you this. If a teacher is failing to invest in their family, it doesn't matter how good of a teacher they are, they aren't going to be a teacher for long. If you are a trusted adult, babysit for them so they can go on a date with their wives or husbands. If you have a vacation house in Nantucket that isn't being used, offer it so they can take their family on a much needed vacation. Make sure they're able to put their family first and ask yourself how you can help them do that. This is obviously no exhaustive list. Paul is actually telling us to share all good things with our instructors. So, what good things has God blessed you with? How can you share that with the people who invest in you? Make it make sense, Calvary. And above all, have a good day. God bless.